Hey guys, how you doing? It's Ricky man. And I'm in Morocco. Same time last year, man. Where was I? I was in Egypt, man. I was in Egypt. And I've been traveling one year and now I've been traveling two. Two fucking years, man. I thought what a better place than to celebrate my two years in front of a beautiful little town over there. Look how beautiful it is. It's got some Tiffany or something like that. There's some beautiful waves over there. You might not see them, but there's some nice waves, man. It's like miles and miles and miles of ocean, man. It's the Atlantic. I'm far from Casablanca and all those places, man. I'm in the south, south of Agadir. So yeah, it's been two years. I'm supposed to talk about two years of traveling, man. It's like 20 degrees now, not too bad, man. I, I have to get south somewhere. It gets hot, it's heat. It's like, there's not a lot of work going on right now, man. Even in Canada, man, there's not a lot of work. So if I'm gonna survive, man, I'm gonna survive where it's hot, not where it's cold. I'm not taking any government welfare, man. So, last summer, I was robbed in Mallorca in the middle of the night. Somebody stole my suitcase from my computer, from my phone, with my passport, everything, man. I was fucked real bad. I went to the airport, they treated me like shit over there, man. It's like no compassion, nothing, man. Okay, you get a phone call, blah, blah, blah. Just a bunch of assholes, real assholes. And uh, finally, I did get some help from family, so they helped me out, which was great. I wish I didn't have to, but I didn't have a choice. Because up till then, I was pretty much on my own. And then the scandemic made things even worse, man. So I had to go to Madrid. I was in Madrid, I got my fucking passport. And then where did I go? I forget. Oh yeah, I went to Budapest in Hungary. That's the place where I found where I could get another computer not too expensive, so that's where I went. Yeah, I stayed there for a few weeks and then I went down to Serbia. And then from Serbia I went to uh, Bulgaria. And then I went through all of Bulgaria, man, all the way down to Turkey, backpacking, man. Woohoo! That's, like, fucking crazy, man. I was in the fucking Bulgarian mountains, the other part of it, you know? I saw both mountains. It was fucking incredible. I get to Turkey, man. Get at the border. They only accept cash. I didn't have any Turkish lira on me. Holy shit. I have to walk back like two kilometers, three kilometers. I don't know how much. Oh, man. I was discouraged, man. Oh. So I went back to Turkey, man. I spent some time with my bro with Turkey Hamza. And then from Turkey, I had to get out of Turkey. And it was a scandemic, man. It was a scandemic. I did. Cappadocia and tell you everything. I go to Georgia, they blocked me there. They didn't want me to go in. It's a scam, damn it, you can't go in. What the fuck? And then I have to go all the way back to Istanbul. I took another plane to go to Morocco for the winter and they didn't let me in Greece. I had to go through a Greece border. They didn't let me go through, man. They wanted to shoot me, man. So anyways, I ended up three months in Tenerife, which is Spain, because I had a ticket to come to Morocco, but they didn't let me go through because I didn't have my fucking PCR test. So I ended up in Tenerife in Spain, man. So I got my fake PCR test there to go to Morocco. So I ended up in Morocco, and I started out by going straight to Agadir, where it's hot, because Marrakesh, man, let me tell you, it was cold, man. I would have died there. I can't live there. Even the hotels were cold. Freezing, man. I was sleeping there. It was freezing. Agadir, not too bad. Anza. And then I stayed in Anza. I stayed with a friend there, a family. It was It was really, really nice. So when you travel, man, the best thing to do, man, is talk to people. Talk to locals. And sometimes you never know, man, they'll really they're willing to help you out, man. You, know, you have to help them out too. I mean, it's not completely free. I mean, you can help them out doing something. I paid for food. I gave him some money. Uh, and I paid for food so everybody could eat. He had two kids. Man, there was enough food there for four people. So I guess he was happy. 
So I stayed there, carried it, 11 days in his house. And I stayed at least one week with another lady up there in uh, Anson. So you gotta, you gotta make some friends, man. You gotta make friends. You never know, man, who's going to help you out. So, I, so after that, I gotta go where it's hotter, even hotter. Because I'm living outside, man. I'm not living in hotels, hostels, or anything right now. So I get to Stiffney. I went first to Mirlef, but I didn't like that. Right here, it's a pretty little town. Look at that. It's nice, huh? Nice little village. And I meet this guy on the beach. He's living in a fucking cave. Well, he's not living in a cave. It's a castle. It's a castle. He has a house. So I'm living in a cave. There's miles and miles of beach here. So it's not too bad. At night it goes down like to 14 degrees. It's not too bad. At least I can survive. But I'm getting a little bit of work, so we'll see where, what happens from here. I want to go with my friend Adrian, man. He's in Bogota, Colombia, man. Adrian, man, I miss you. I want to go with you, man. I want to party with you, man. Here comes a Turkish guy. Turkish Moroccan guy. 